Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll be exploring how to create a simple context menu in PYQD6. A context menu is a simple pop-up menu that appears whenever you right-click the screen. For example, if I right-click right now on VS Code, this menu pops up over here. This is what we call a context menu, right? So how do we create this and add it into our PYQD6 application? That's what this video is all about. Let's begin. This is some very basic boilerplate code I have here. A simple class where we're going to write all our GUI code. We have one new import here called QMenu. This is what we're going to use to create our context menu. Okay, so let's begin. Context menu is equal to QMenu, right? Parent is equal to self. Then action one is equal to self.contextMenu. And I'll explain what these actions are in a minute. We're just going to add in these actions. These are basically like options all right like if i right click over here you see these these are actions different actions that the user can select from that's what these actions are basically options all right and just change the names over here now what we can do is uh, I've, bas I've basically created a small menu with three different actions three different options that we can pick from how do we show this menu though if i go here and then say context menu event. This is a pre-built function and wow, uh, that looks a bit too fancy. Let me just tone this down a bit. Uh, all right, let's call this event and let's remove that too. Don't really need that. All right, so this is a pre-built uh, function that's already there and we're just overriding this function. Okay, this is a, a function that's automatically gonna be called. So you might wonder how this function is working. That's because it's built in. All right, uh, let me just code this in and then you'll understand how this is working. Exec, and then we pass in event.globalPause. This event object, this function is basically triggered whenever we right click on our window. All right, it's again built in, this, this logic. This event object contains the position it contains the coordinates of where the right click was made. That's what the global pause function returns. It returns the coordinates of the click. Then we basically execute this, uh, you know, we, we create our menu, this menu that we defined at these coordinates. Okay, so if I run this code, and now I right click over here, this menu shows up. See? And just to, uh, you know, clarify this concept a little more, I'm going to print these out every time. So you can just understand for yourself, see, that this is working, okay? See, pretty cool, right? All right, now, um, currently these actions are useless. If I click on these, nothing is gonna happen, all right? So what we need to do is connect these actions to some functions. So action one dot triggered, triggered is uh, the signal basically, dot connect, we're connecting this signal to a slot, to a function. Uh, this is the concept of signals and slots in PYQD6. I'll leave a video link to that in the description below if you're not familiar with it. Okay, so then we'll do um, self dot action one, where is it? One uh, underscore handle, or let's move that around, handle action one. Right? You may wonder where this function is. Well, I haven't defined it yet, so let me go ahead and do so. Handle action one, okay? And that's it. I'm not gonna write any code, whoops. I'm not gonna write any code in here. Uh, let me just terminate that. Okay, now I'm just gonna put in a simple print statement. Action one was triggered. You can put in whatever you want here. I'm just gonna duplicate this twice for the other two actions or well, we could have we could have just made them all share the same action but whatever and there now i'm going to duplicate this as well for the other two and there and there too now i'll run this code and now our actions our options so these three actions have been connected to the functions that we defined so if I click action two, now it prints out action two was triggered. Similarly, action three was triggered, action one was triggered, 
etc. Pretty cool, right? We're almost done here, there's just one more thing I want to explain. First of all, this is nothing special, this is just a regular menu object. So anything that we do with a regular menu, you can go ahead and do this to this widget, okay? And uh, I'm pretty sure I have a video on menu widgets in PYQT6, so I'll leave a video link to that. But let me just show you one more thing. What you can do is create another menu, okay, like this. Let's call this one a file menu. And I'm gonna put some actions over here, like save, that's a very common action in a file menu, open, and delete, all right? And let's change these as well. Whoops. All right, now I'm going to add this menu, this new menu that I created to my context menu. And what is this going to do? Well, this is going to create a nested context menu. All right, like this. Now, when I right click over here, we get this. And I think I did not pass in something over here. I'm not sure. How does this work? Yeah, okay, there, title. So, whoops. The, uh, how does this work again? All right, uh, icon, title, and mm, I think uh, over here might be a title parameter. Kind of forgotten how this, ah, there we go. All right, you just needed to define a title for it. You don't do it over here, you do it over here. Or there's also, if I remember, remember correctly, there's a title function over here. Yeah, so you can use this as well. So, um, now we can you know just hover over this and it's gonna show over here and we can go ahead and link these actions as well uh, i gave them the same name that doesn't really matter though uh best to best to change it but you can go ahead and connect these the same way we did earlier and you're good all right so i think with that we've covered pretty much everything that you need to know about context menus all right good luck